One of the most important numbers on a soil test report is the pH level. Now, if you can get your pH level into the ideal range for whatever it is you're trying to grow, and you will set your plants up for success. But if the pH level is outside of the ideal range, your plants can't reach their full potential no matter how many nutrients are in the soil. So today, I'm gonna to teach you the basics of soil pH and why that reading is so important. In order for plants to thrive, they need a few basic elements, including organic matter and certain levels of nutrients. Many of these are found naturally in the native soil. However, there are major and minor, as well as micronutrients, that are all used by plants in various quantities. The soil analysis will tell you the level of these nutrients found or lacking in your soil. In addition to the organic matter and the nutrient levels, you also need to understand the pH level. Now, you could have all the nutrients you need here, but if the pH is out of the range for the preferred range of the plant you're growing, those nutrients still won't be available. They'll be chemically locked up or bound. So if you know what the pH level in the soil is relative to what the plant needs, you can make those adjustments, and that's where the soil test will help. pH is measured in a range between 0 and 14. A pH reading under 7.0 indicates soil that is acidic, while a reading above 7.0 indicates a soil that's alkaline. The further away from 7.0 you get in either direction, the more acidic or alkaline the soil is. 7.0 is neutral, and most plants prefer growing in soil that's neutral too, since they're able to take up nutrients more easily this way. If your soil is outside of the preferred range for the plants or lawn you want to grow, a soil test will help you bring it back to that level, closer to where it needs to be.